The fellow geologist Armand Holtz-Coltsen, who has actually studied in the University of Bristol, the same university as mine, has now predicted in four to six hours we will have eruption not later than the midday tomorrow, that means in the Saturday. And we are seeing the evidence for eruption actually. This uh, volcanic earthquake purple line actually this time has risen above the threshold of 7,000. Somewhere it is going to erupt very soon. We don't see the evidence of boiling ma magma in this chart, but the earthquake shows that the magma is there and is rising. It's at the depth of one kilometer and less. This magma is there. We can even, you know, visualize it by these uh, uh, animations when it is going to erupt. The pressure of the gas creates those uh, volcanic quakes that I mentioned. So when they reach that uh, threshold near the surface, probably we can see them. This will be a, a dramatic situation. We have several candidates for this. Today we know that there is a new epicenter. This is the fault lines you can see. Armand uh, Oskolson actually has predicted that this will happen. The location is not yet known, but we know that the roads are disrupted now. What I notice is that putting an animation is that it seems that the waves of the earthquakes start always like a domino effect from the side of the southwest of the Atlantic coming to the Reconus Peninsula by the midday and the later part of the day. This is very interesting. I've noticed that it comes like a whip wave in it from the morning or early down hours in the Atlantic Ocean reaching the land by the midday and the evening. This is very interesting. If it erupts, probably we'll be looking in the wrong direction, like what happened in the Litlikoto eruption earlier. And in that case, we were looking in the wrong direction, the smoke was there, then bang, the ground opened. We could see the ground opening. That is practically the fault line getting at this weakest point, the magma oozing out. That was the moment. All the time, <laughs> cameras were looking in the wrong direction when it was actually happening somewhere else. You will see it now. And that was the eruption. The magma changing to a lava when it comes to the surface, reaching the surface and erupting like fountains springing out of the ground never caught in the camera this is the first time probably and then it began and formed the crater and the uh, spatter cone very interesting uh, phenomenon what an eventful year we have